Hello everyone and uh, actually uh, if you wondered what today we're gonna do is actually review the Galaxy S22 Ultra and unboxing the power port for light which is a great situation I'll tell you that later so stay tuned in the video and please subscribe to Techno KW share it with your close members and thank you and we're gonna compare it to the Note 10 Lite like I know it's a beast for, for, compared to the Note 10 Lite but just the S Pen you know these two phones have S Pens but that's cheap that's expensive uh, we'll leave that aside for a minute. So this is the S22 Ultra review. You'll see. Just a second, I'll have to just put the pin. Okay, actually this is a red, which is really my favorite color. It has actually curved screens, which is a premium. It costs actually $1,200 in Kuwaiti currency, uh, Kuwaiti dinars, uh, 400 KD probably. Yeah, some kind of like that. The cameras? I mean, I think they are just phenomenal. Uh, the look at the photo, like they say, Samsung. Look, try to stabilize, you know. Look, it's just so good. See camera. It's way better than competitors. Competitors, and it's actually. Uh, it's actually like it has the same camera setup as S twenty one Ultra. I'm not gonna say it's a lot of words, uh, but it has like the AI is way stronger. Actually, I really like this phone, even though it's big, humongous. I guess it has a Type C for forty five watt forty five watt charging, but forty five watts it's really not worth it, as like in the reviews that they say, and it actually has a latency of two point eight probably. Yeah, thanks to AI. An intelligence. It really feels like writing on paper. Like no, no twenty ultras already. Excellent. I never tested this phone, but they say it's pretty excellent. Now this is to the next level. So, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty massive phone. Like if you want a best phone of the year, this is it. It's just the best for your money. Okay, now the not a light. The, the thing is, we're gonna do. So let's see the latency lag of the S Pen. We're not comparing it by the specs because these are decade old, different. It's not fair to do that since they are different. What's happening exactly? Uh, I should have known that I should have put it out. Just forgot to do that. And we see by the S Pen, this one looks a bit of a gray black lighter. This one is darker. Uh, yeah, they are plastic. As I say, yeah, they're almost like a similar phone, actually. There's no, like, difference when holding them. An average consumer won't even tell what's the difference. But we just need to see the latency lag. As for now, I will just need to open the Note 10 Lite. Just watch my... If you don't know about the Note 10 Lite, watch my last video. Uh, sorry for that. Uh... So, phone is starting actually pretty cool. So, I just have to do it. I'll just have to put these guys again. Uh, so, to put the screen off memo, which if you open the S Pen, it's gonna go to a black screen. It's kind of really hard to react with two phones. Uh, just a second. So, uh, as you know, like the S22 Ultra is like having a 2.8 latency lag. The Note 10 Lite, uh, I don't know how much, but it's definitely slower for the moment. So I have to put now first using these S pens. Where is the S pen? Okay, so let's go to. It's kind of been annoying actually. Uh, where do I go? Samsung Notes. Okay, next. 
just now you need to put it fast before it turns off the s22 ultra the problem is it has a camera bump that is really he big so yeah can definitely well as you see here the s22 ultra is just way better it feels like paper more than just a uh, note digital something so this one takes a win but if you want to know this is the mountain light is still good oh i just had an update but i told you the s22 ultra is pretty good this one also just see my last video is it worth it but yeah note light is a pretty good idea that samsung made cheap s pen for the bonus the anchor power port for a light uh if we want to see so uh yeah the, these noises actually say get your s pen just forget about them for now just a minute so i set the box aside let's see uh, let's remove the plastic we get the charging brick probably this one is like the one we use in middle east this one no but it's great when you go hotels you can charge for devices like simultaneously simultaneously it has four type c ports like really cool it has a premium texture to it it costs six and a half kd just convert it to your currency if you're another country uh but do keep in mind this this power bank i mean this charger doesn't come with wires so you have to use your own ones and it only has type a so you have so if you have type c to type c it won't work so thanks for watching my s22 ultra review and comparing it with the note 10 light uh for the s pen and thanks for seeing the anchor power core uh for light unboxing video See you later, everyone. Bye.